hello good evening uh, welcome back to our channel and today we will have a very important topic is uh, how to handle the special cargo sulfuric acid this is uh, a very dangerous cargo let's go and find out how it works okay we, we will see here the uh, special cargo sulfuric acid This is a very good stainless steel tank. And, and now we will load the sulfuric acid like this. Here you can see that soon the sulfuric acid will come inside the tank and the tank can be have some issue. Okay. Here you can see that it's the tank is can be you know, expanded or uh, ruptured due to high density and overpressurized. Like for example, light blowing. If, you, if uh, we are not careful in uh, light blowing, we can make this happen. Here is uh, another problem cargo tank damage because of sulfuric acid. Another one. And some people is they uh, they do slop the sulfuric acid and seawater together inside the stainless steel tank, and the consequences is uh, you can see like this. And it's completely rusty. You never slop the sulfuric acid together with seawater inside the stainless steel tank. the picture you can see it it's completely damaged you can see it's closer a little bit on the stainless steel is uh, destroyed right, the cargo pump have been destroyed as well this one at the cargo pump okay, the heating coil is it's uh, have been eaten damaged Another picture about the cargo pump have been destroyed by the sulfuric acid. Another problem is is, uh, is the the crew. The crew is exposed to the sulfuric acid. It can be trouble like this as well. Okay. This is uh, exposed the face to the sulfuric acid, and it's a it's a very dangerous. Other hand. The hand is uh, spewed by sulfuric acid and it's, it's have been destroyed. Also, the big question is how to avoid it for those incident accident, right? uh, accident for the for the crew and also the accident for the ship. So how to how can we avoid it? Uh, so first of all, we have to understand this, this about this sulfuric acid. If we cannot understand and we cannot avoid the problem. The second is we have to have proper PPE, personal protective equipment. The third one we have to you need to understand the, the airport, the the medical first aid guy, or uh, to, uh, to have proper treatment for the crew exposed to the sulfuric acids. Um, the fourth one is uh, we need to strictly follow the loading and unloading special procedures and those procedures we will uh, discuss uh, below in the next slide and the last one we need to have the good care about tank cleaning we need to have properly tank cleaning procedures this is a five element five step we have to do it oh it's number one understand about the sulfuric acid so the the first thing is, is that the formula, the formula, this is the the formula. The second thing is the appearance, this is the color, colorless, it doesn't mean no color, no color. Well, the next one is the density, density is very high, it's very heavy liquid, 
is the uh, one decimal five six to one decimal four eight four. The third one is a Bolin boy. Right? Viber density also very heavy. Three decimal four. One of the most important is its uh, solubility in the water. Stability. Okay, it's uh, the as it's uh, sulfuric, it will not burn. Uh, so uh, uh, during the uh, during of the fight, the cargo on fight, for example, or uh, during of the fight fighting procedures, we are not allowed to use the uh, use the water or to put out the fire or to fight the fire during the regarding to the sulfuric uh, as it, this one is important, and we had to. to Make sure that it's, we understand this. Uh, about another an, another issues is here is uh, is uh, about the skin, a uh, very irritated skin, and also very injury to the eyes. Another one is we uh, mentioned about is uh, the TV, uh, the around one hundred, the TV around one hundred to. Uh, 500 pb ppm this is the tl tlv the next one we have to focus is the uh, medical first aid guide and this one is very important in case the crew have problem or issue we need to mm, we need to refer to the, the m and this is one of the assemble how to use uh, the m this is the MPAT and this is the example how to use it. So here the em emergency action. Uh, in case the crew have the trouble with the the, the, the sunbreak acid and we have to go to, we have to refer to the, the, the MPAT and know how to use to use this. So here is the guideline step by step for the crew can okay, know how to use and how to treat the the, the, the victim in case uh, they are exposed to the sulfuric acid and uh, the emphasis uh, is, is in uh, IMDG decode uh, supplement uh, IMDG code there is three volume uh, volume one volume two and volume uh, and uh, volume supplement and the, the medical first aid guy is is uh, written in uh, the, the supplement volume Okay, next one is uh, uh, reactivity information. So it's uh, it's react easily to many material, or spill and leak, uh, personal protective. We have uh, we need to have the proper rubber glove, protective protein, and uh, having uh, body shell available avoid contact with the liquid. If a leak on on the cargo transfer, stop the transfers and empty the line system. Uh, pollution uh, category is uh, why uh, ship type three can carry this cargo. Uh, for venting, normally this cargo is we we uh, we will do up and vent, up and venting. Uh, for gauging, uh, the same if we also do up and gay gauging. Okay, the next one we need to understand about this sulfuric cargo, sulfuric acid cargo is a special arrangement. Here is important. Uh, this this cargo we need to have uh, acid resistant uh, cargo holes. This cargo holes is important because if we we choose wrong cargo holes, it can be problem during transfer in the cargo this is the one of the type of cargo cargo house uh, resistant cargo house this is a manifold the second one we need to have the the assistance pressure uh, to cover the flank here is an example. Okay. This one is the the, um, the cover flank piece. 
and because this cargo is, is a dangerous cargo so in case of leaking at the flange so the cargo can spray and this one spray to the crew or uh, the, the somebody is stand nearby to the flange and this is the picture of the cover flanges the next one we need to have during regarding to the arrangements we need to have on board the uh, the tank cleaning hoses uh, the, the acid uh, resistant tank cleaning hoses for tank cleaning this is the, the, the good type for tank cleaning hoses resistant this is another type but this type is to be careful with this rubber hoses and many type of rubber hoses is not uh, supposed for to use for sulfuric acid so before we use uh, the, the the rubber hose uh, for um, tank cleaning the acid sulfuric we need to check it out the, the manual uh, to make sure that the, this type of the, the hose is, uh, is resistant, resistant tank cleaning hoses before we would use in practical and next one is that we need to have the sufficient BBA for the crew we need to have the sufficient uh, BBA for the crew involved that means those who are working with uh, cargo handling or cargo transferring and the BBA we need to focus on uh, first is the facial to protect the face the chemical glove the boost the chemical clothes uh, this is uh, uh, those uh, PPE we need to focus okay now we come into the state is to prepare to load in and load in the special cargo sulfuric acid for preparing to load we did the sulfuric acid should car carry in the stainless steel tank right. In case the sulfuric acid is uh, carried in the mice steel tanks, the uh, special permits from the class must be approved. Right? That means you need to have approval from the class. Okay, for prepare to loss, the conditions of loading sulfuric acid is the visual, uh, visual water wise standard. So this visual water wise standard is this meaning is the, uh, the tank is must be clean, dry, or the free. Okay. This is another um, the point we need to focus. The heating coil for those tank load in sulfuric acid must be uh, must be pressurized and tested for leaking. Mm, this reason is. Uh, uh, if we don't test the, the heating coil, the heating coil can be uh, leaked and when you have the cargo is uh, in it and the cargo will mm, come inside the heating coil and the heating coil is contains some water inside and it will start uh, reacting uh, and this, is, this create big trouble for the tank uh, during loading. So after test, we need to blow empty and dry with the nitrogen uh, as the best option. If we don't have the nitrogen enough on board, we can use the uh, dry air to blow out. Uh, tank must be dry before loading is permitted. Okay, another another point is the coffee dam and the double bottoms must be empty and dry. Be fully aware due to the line blowing and with high pressure, this may cause the expansion and rupture the consequences. Okay, now during voyage, during voyage, we the most important we need to check for leaking, right? so that we need to check the coffee dam we need to check the double bottom uh, so that's for liquid the Jason adjacent tank uh, for discharging because of this high gravity of sulfuric acid it's a very high pump pressures may be experienced uh, 
do do not uh, quick open and quick closing the valve okay. because if you do that if the pressure shares uh, may cause a rupture the lines or broken the hoses this is the cargo pump After we uh, finish, tank, uh, finish uh, uh, discharge uh, in the cargo, we will tank cleaning. And during tank cleaning, there is some point we need to focus and and we need to avoid. First, uh, the uh, sulfuric acid uh, around seventy percent concentrations attack the steel rapidly. Uh, so the, and when the, they attack the steel they will generate in their temperature uh, uh, if the tank is clean with the uh, inadequate uh, quantity of water so it, right, another point is uh, you, we, when we start cleaning we need to have a lot of water right? uh, a huge quantity of water to put inside, inside the, 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 the sulfuric acid uh, tank because the acid will become very hot and the second thing is uh, when cleaning when cleaning the fresh water should be should be used as the cleaning medium this is very important during cleaning the cleaning we have to use uh, preferably fresh water should be used as the cleaning uh, medium this is very important and point uh, in case we have not enough uh, fresh water on board so a large amount of seawater must be used and added into the tank. A sulfuric acid uh, slug should normally not not be kept on board. This boy is very important. The problem is the tank is rusted, or we can say it is corrosive and become rusted. And like a picture at the beginning, we can see that because of we slop the acid and we keep it on board for many days so if we add in the water to acid and this reacting can release the hydrogen gas so do not stop the cleaning uh, before the limbus a paper check and the drains the water reach neutral this means that we need to check about the the, 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 the ph of the, the water so we take the water and we use the paper and to check the ph if the ph is neutral and then we stop thinking in right. flush out the heating coil right. Okay, that is all about the, the sulfuric acid. So I just uh, quickly uh, introduce to you guys and hope, uh, hope that uh, you have a, a, a good knowledge and a good uh, understanding about the, um, the sulfuric acid during loading and discharging to keep you and your crew and your ship is safely. And thank you for watching.